Chris Gethin reporting here from his beautiful Boise back garden and uh, today this video is addressing a cute little vitamin called vitamin B3. Uh, there's a lot of confusion on the boards and the blogs and all that stuff in, re in regards to one of these vitamin B's, um, B3's called niacin and this is probably partly due to my good buddy, my good friend, Jim Stepani out there, which he rightfully did so call out because a lot of companies out there do use niacin to give you that kind of flushing feeling that makes you think that you're on the beta alanine but it's not really in there. Um, so I want to address this particularly because if you look down the ingredients list of my new product, pre-cage, you'll see niacin in there. Now I want to distinguish the niacin and niacinamide which is the form that I have in pre-cage. Niacinamide does not give you that kind of tingly, flushing feeling. What it actually does, well, first of all, niacinamide is found in like all your you know, uh, living cells. So obviously you're only as healthy as your cellular essence. And over 400 cells require this coenzyme for optimal production, namely ATP. Now we all know that Addison triphosphate is required for performance, for competing, for strength training. And unless you're having optimal levels, then you're not gonna perform at your optimal level. Uh, so that's why I have niacinamide in there to help with this production. And obviously if you're deficient in, um, niacinamide it can lead to something called pellagra which is much like scurvy if you're deficient in vitamin C and uh, being deficient in that niacinamide can lead to dementia hence why I've got it in my product um, and uh, diarrhea and you know there's, there's a few other ailments but those are the main ones that I kind of require in there but mainly for the ATP production and you know you think about it if you're walking around with your phone why would you use it when it's flat you'd want to keep it charged the whole time and that's what I think when I'm in the gym and I'm hitting my DTP workouts or if I you know want to put off the you know the possibility of feeling you know tired over trained or not training at my optimal performance and obviously I want to put every single ingredient that I know that works that is tested on myself on other people uh, that are trained athletes and are human and you know like I said we don't guess we actually test so there's a reason for every single ingredient and that is another reason why we have niacin in a form of niacinamide that does not give you that tingling feeling in pre-caged hope that has addressed any confusion out there because i'm getting a lot of questions uh, in regards to it so thank you for now